Hello and welcome to another tutorial on how to make a game in X and A. And in this tutorial we're going to fix up a couple things we didn't fix up in the last tutorial. And if you noticed, if you played the game in our last build, uh, there was, you were stopped by an invisible wall. So basically what happened is when we're making the animation part of it, uh, we forgot to divide the area width by the frame image number. So uh, remember how we have a huge sprite uh, sprite sheet that's that's really wide with all like the different sprites we want in our animation. Well, it it thinks that whole sprite sheet is the collision area. So we have to fix that. We can do that by dividing it by the image number or, or how many sprites there are. So that's that. Uh, and next thing is, you know how, how our enemies would not move? Uh, that was a problem. So, to fix that, you want to go to your push to, actually, yeah, actually this was commented out. The reason why, uh, you weren't going anywhere was because we accidentally commented out this line, which is, it resets the speed to your speed level. And because this at default, this was set to zero once this happened, and nothing else set it back. So we just have to uncomment that line, and it, the enemy will be able to move. And I'm actually just going to change uh, the speed to one because uh, two is a little bit too fast. Uh, okay. So next thing you want to do is actually let's go ahead and test it right now and see what we get. I apologize if this is a sort of short tutorial, but uh, I just wanted to take care of these problems first. So as you can see, uh, we can go through here, it's fine, our collisions work, everything. But look, they ran into that box one time and they're stuck there like glue. Even these walls, they're stuck. So to fix that, we want to put an else statement here. Oh, sorry guys, you can't see. We want to put an else statement right under this if statement where it says uh, if there's not a collision. So we want to put an else, else statement. And first we want to get a new object. And remember, we created a collision method in our object class that takes in an object uh, because it wants to know what type of object, what type of wall, etc. you're talking about. And also, uh, so once it uh, sees if there's a collision between that object and you, it returns the object you collided with. Basically, yeah, the first object you collided with. So we want to uh, make a new object, call it, call it collision object and make it equal to collision and then we want to make a new object pass in a new object as actually a new wall because a wall is an object a new wall as uh, the argument so and then we'll set it position to like zero vector two dot zero okay there we go and then after that we want to make a float and we're going to call this temporary uh, direction and we want to find the direction between we want to find the direction between uh, the enemy that's colliding with the wall so we want to find the direction from the enemy pointing to the wall so there's like a little line drawn between the wall and the enemy and we want the enemy to push away from the wall so that's why we want to get this direction so temporary direction equals point direction uh, collision collision object dot position shoot position dot x and collision object dot position dot y and we want to compare it with uh, the enemy's position dot x and position dot y okay so it's going to find the direction between those two points so now we can actually let's just copy this right here base dot push to 
and the pixels we can just leave the same and we but we want to change the direction so we want to change this to temporary di direction so this is going to push away from col colliding I spelled that wrong object so it's going to push away from the object the enemy is currently colliding with and actually we can just paste that back and then uh, we want to just copy this and paste it here and then this is just going to continue on its path so basically it's going to push away from that object is colliding with while uh, continuing on its way with its normal path so let's go ahead and test it hope there's an error oh we forgot a uh, parenthesis okay there we go okay so now let's wait for them to spawn and as you can see they don't actually we forgot to do it with a uh, wall so uh, you see you notice we only did it oh and they went out of bounds so that's not good well anyways as you can see with, with the walls at least right here that they don't collide so uh, you see look they just float around the wall perfect that's exactly what we want the only exception is the crates and the crates we don't really want them to move from the crates because they're gonna be trying to break them anyways and it's getting really laggy okay so uh, we'll do that in the next tutorial hopefully so uh, thank you for watching I'd appreciate a rating and see you in the next tutorial thank you bye